Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 13 in the ESV for June 13, 2023. A wise son hears his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. From the fruit of his mouth, a man eats what is good, but the desire of the treacherous is for violence. Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips come to ruin. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. The righteous hates falsehood, but the wicked brings shame and disgrace. Righteousness guards him whose way is blameless, but sin overthrows the wicked. One pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. The ransom of a man's life is his wealth, but a poor man hears no threat. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked will be put out. By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Whoever despises the word brings destruction on himself, but he who reveres the commandment will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, the one that may turn away from the snares of death. Good sense wins favor, but the way of the treacherous is their ruin. Every prudent man acts with knowledge, but a fool flaunts his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a faithful envoy brings healing. Poverty and disgrace comes to him who ignore instruction, but whoever heeds reproof is honored. A desire fulfilled is sweet to the soul, but to turn away from evil is an abomination to fools. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Disaster pursues sinners, but the righteous are rewarded with good. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the sinner's wealth is laid out for the righteous. The fallow ground of the poor would yield much food, but it's swept away through injustice. Whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. The righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite, but the belly of the wicked suffers want. So, it's raining, if you cannot hear it, and I've got the whole crew, one hanging out watching the rain, the other two napping. So, today, I found out that I believe it was during World War One, it might have been two, that the Brits actually made people have a mustache. And because mustache was such the height of fashion, they made cups <clears throat> like teacups because the British drink tea such with such regularity that had little mustaches in the cups to push your mustache away so you had a little hole for your lips so you wouldn't get tea stains and dribbles on your beard and your mustache. I think we need one of those, homeboy. <laughs> yeah, we need to bring those back. For you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need to have a, a cheetah mustache cup. Mustache mud. <laughs> and then there'll be a lefty. And everybody will be like, it's backwards. And we're like, you're backwards. <laughs> anyway, this whole passage is all about, hey, father's instruction and listening to the father's words and discipline right? right and telling us about what we do with our mouth if we preserve our mouth and guard our mouth we we preserve our life and we increase our life <coughs> the soul of the slugger craves and gets nothing while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied i know it's normally about like mining your fields and stuff and in this case i think it's like seeking you know what i mean like doing your daily bible study doing your your listening and your quiet time and everything else you're praying that comes with it if you're diligent you'll be supplied right one who pretends to be rich yet has nothing talked about that hood rich right just yeah. putting your money in the wrong things versus uh, poor people or somebody that looks poor you know, but has great wealth. And they don't have great wealth yet, but I take care of the clothes I got. And, you know, I don't need to flaunt what little bit of money I do have. Although, if you have a little bit of wealth, right? Maybe, maybe a nice car. 
Not two knives? Maybe. We'll cross that bridge if, if the Lord gets us there. Or puts us there. Whoever despises the word brings destruction on himself, but he who reveres the commandment will be rewarded. So homie's got a problem <clears throat> with the King, King James translation because it had some political bents in the words, right? Although it was a relatively reliable and good translation, it's not uh, without a couple of issues. The word commandment being one. So I'd be curious to know if this is, oh, there's a footnote, or a commandment. Yep. Or a word, right? So that was the argument is like the Ten Commandments were the ten words. And when translated in Greek were the Decalogue. And when they were in Latin, I should know the Latin one. But it was the ten words. And then it went to the Ten Commandments. However, word or not, I think um, Jewish law regarded them as the words, you know, the Mosaic law, right? More, more to research together, though. So I'm glad that my, my little guy is learning a question and to read intelligently. And apparently the discrepancy came from the Tuttle Twins history book. So we're going to just have a look and see what exactly is they said. Because it might just be what I just had to say. Um, shouldn't be on it on camera, J-Man. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the commanding of fools will suffer harm. We just talked about this at House Church and Dude Group, where you are kind of the amalgamation of the five people that you spend the most of your time with. So choose wisely. Choose wise people. Don't choose sluggards, idiots, and generally bad people, right? So you don't want that in your life. And whoever spares the rod hates the son, but he who loves him is diligently diligent to discipline him. We have the rod from the word, so we know what good behavior looks like. And we know what being a proper man looks like. So that's what we're going to strive for. That's the example we're going to set. And that's what I'm going to demand of my three little gentlemen. Oh, uh, with that, I get him inside drawn on my window for me and uh, try to scatter some seeds in the rain and figure out what the heck dinner is because we just picked all of our veggies from the community supported agriculture the CSA farm that we participate in so I think we're just dropped on my head crazy all right with that be blessed. Go with God. Sorry for the slow pace and rambling today, but hopefully you got go something out of it. Once the water's over. Homeschool today brought to you by Box Turtles.